Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Garino. Today, we're diving into the fundamentals of creating powerful firewall rules on a MicroTik router. Think of firewalls as your network's gatekeeper, standing guard to filter and control all traffic flowing in and out based on the rules you set. But a firewall is only as effective as the rules you create. In this episode, we're going hands-on to explore common firewall scenarios, build essential rules. So, let's jump into our router configuration. In our first example, we will create a rule to block Telnet access to the router. Let's connect to the router using Telnet with TerraTerm. As we see, the computer currently has Telnet access to the router. Now let's create a firewall rule to block this. Go to IP, Firewall, and create a new firewall rule. Set chain to input. Protocol to TCP. Port to 23. Go to Action Pane, set Action to Drop. Now let's try to reconnect via Telnet. As you can see, the connection is denied because the firewall rule is now blocking Telnet access. Let's temporarily disable the rule to check. Now, the computer can successfully connect via Telnet again. Now let's introduce a new computer in our network. Let's modify our rule to restrict only this specific computer with IP address 192.168.1.249 to connect to the router via Telnet. Edit the existing rule and add a source IP restriction. We test the connection with an unrestricted computer. It can connect successfully because its IP is not blocked. Now let's test with a computer that's restricted. This one fail as expected to connect to the router. Let's disable the rule and test again to confirm it's working correctly. Now that the rule has been disabled, the restricted computer regains Telnet access to the router. In our next example, this time we will create a rule to block ping to the router, specifically the protocol ICMP. First, we confirm that the computer can currently ping the router.
we create a new firewall rule. Chain set to input. Protocol to ICMP. And action to drop. Now you'll see that the computer can no longer ping the router. Let's disable the rule now. The computer can ping the router again. In our next example, Let's create a set of rules where all clients are blocked from pinging the router except for one specific computer with IP address 192.168.1.250. We already have a rule to block all ping. Let's add one to enable only one computer to ping the router. At this point, it's crucial to note the order of firewall rules. We leave it as it is for now. Let's see what happens. Other clients cannot ping the router, which is expected. The chosen computer, however, is also unable to ping. Why? It is because the general drop all rule was placed before the more specific allow rule. Let's fix the order by moving the allow rule above the drop all rule. Now, other clients still cannot ping. but the chosen computer can successfully ping the router. This illustrates an important point about firewall rules. Always place more specific rules above general ones to avoid unintentional blocking. And that wraps up our first episode of Firewalls on Microtik. Today, we covered how to create essential firewall rules from blocking telnet access to restricting ping and filtering traffic based on IP addresses. We also explored the importance of rule order. If you found this episode helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your questions or topics you'd like to see next. Until then, keep your networks secure and your firewalls rock solid.